All right. That's that's in. <laughs> Five straight birdies to finish our PGA debut. We're not going to be anywhere near the leaders, but you know what? That's a solid, solid day's work, and we've proved that we can do it here at PGA West for the last round. Okay, top 10, no, top six, top 20 finish. I said I wanted a top 20, and we got a top 20. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour career mode. And today we are going to be buying some new equipment because I have 50,000 coins, as you can see. Uh, I won a lot of coins from doing an online tournament and, and placing fairly high up in it. I think it was in the top five to 15% or something it was. So we're gonna buy some clothing. First off the bat, I'm gonna buy these because I need some new shoes. Our shoes at the moment, not not great so we're gonna equip these to all outfits if we can I, I assume it'll look okay on on all outfits let's have a look there not perfect but uh better than having the uh the base shoes that we had anyway i think so we'll go with that i want a few different tops as well i like these adidas abstract ones but i'm gonna have a look through and see if there's any different type of ones there kind of like this one as well let me have a look at that one how it looks no i don't like how it looks on actually have a look at the adidas one that looks pretty slick not gonna lie to you adidas one looks pretty slick the master stripe polo yeah it's not bad there was a couple of masters uh tops way down along here that i enjoyed these ones i like these and i especially like this pink one here for some reason i don't know what it is but i think i'm gonna buy this one six thousand we can buy that equip it which which outfit should i equip it to final round round three round two i feel like it kind of goes the best with my round two outfit I'm gonna go with this. I really like the look of that outfit there, actually. I guess it's 6,000 for a solo one, so why the hell not? Let's buy all these. We'll, we'll have them for future reference anyway, um, you know, because why the hell not? Let's have a look. I think I'm gonna equip the blue one. I like the blue one a lot. And we want to buy some clubs as well. We want to buy some equipment. That's what we're here for. Let's buy some goddamn new clubs. What should I go with off the bat? Uh, the Callaway Paradigm Driver, the Strixen, the Titleist, the PXG, TaylorMade Stealth Plus. That's a fairway wood though, that's not a driver. Let's go with, let's go with the goddamn Paradigm. I've seen a lot of stuff about these new Callaways, so let's try it out and see what it's all about, all right? We'll equip that to bag one, instead of our 10 degree driver there, of course. And uh, I would like some new irons as well, potentially, and a new golf ball, because uh, I don't like the EA Sports golf ball. I would like to switch that if possible. Have a look at the irons. So we got Titleist T100s, we got PXGs, we got Callaway Apex Pro irons, Strixen irons, and we got wedges here as well, of course. I put up, uh, put on a super stroke grip on my new putter, on my new Scotty Cameron putter. Is there no golf balls I can buy here? All right, so let's go for a set of irons. It doesn't matter what set I get for now. Let's go for the Callaway Apexes because my name's the Apex Hound. So that makes the most sense in my opinion. So we just, we need a new set of wedges as well, potentially. Like it would look weird if we don't have any new wedges, right? Miura. I've heard about, I've heard about these actually. I've heard they're good. I've heard they're real nice. I like the look of these tailor-made ones, too. They're slick, man. The high-toe ones, they're slick. I'll go with these. Let's buy these and equip all the wedges in the bag. All right, now I've bought a sufficient amount of stuff. Let's get back into career mode, my friends, and let's uh, let's see. We have a, a lot of new shit. We'll maybe start off with a challenge or two here and there and then jump into the Farmer's Insurance Open at the Torrey Pines South Course. Now, Torrey Pines South Course is a difficult one indeed. It's a, a, a tough course, so we'll, uh, we'll be struggling there, no doubt. But let's check out some of these coaching challenges, maybe to get our uh, PJ coach, PJ coaching. Let's see, learn the basics of the golf swing. I mean, that seems all pretty easy, right? Start you off on the tee and just work on hitting those fairways. The fairway and regulation occurs anytime your tee shot lands on the fairway. Hit five drives to get you going. I think I can manage that, right? I should probably be doing sponsor challenges rather than these um, these coaching challenges. But these will probably get maybe me some skill points and shit like that. So it's not going to go to waste. We'll start with this one anyway. Swing basics. But I like how they kind of uh, put the the basics of the of the coaching into the into this. It's cool. All right, let's see what we got. A little high fade maybe. Beauty. Still not on the fairway, though. God damn it, man. <laughs> Overfaded a little bit. Let's just see if I get a star by going right up here. Like, if I punch a, if I punch a four iron up here, let's see if I get a star. Guessing probably not. But it's worth seeing. If I do or not. Pebble Beach. Bada bing, bada boom. I get a star there? No. Oh, I do. Shit, okay. I could just do that then, honestly. Too late now, though, because I got the bloody driver. Uh, I already did the driver and missed the fairway. So let's restart.
All right, all three stars, goth. Nearly missed the last one there, but all good in the hood. Pebble Beach Golf Links, nicely started there, but I think uh, those ones are a little bit kind of different to the ones we should be doing. We should be doing the sponsor challenges to try and unlock new shit. The coaching challenges are good to do at some points, I think, as well. But uh, we're going to try and get a few of the uh, of the sponsor rewards here if we can. We did a few of the Cobra ones already. Let's try a few of the Ping ones. We haven't done any of the Ping ones yet. Oh, I did. I did 6 out of 15 on the Ping ones, did I? Yeah, okay. With health of Ping wedges, work your way around the screen and hit them close. Okay, we could manage that, right? Pinging around the green? Let's try it. We've got our wedge game a lot better than it was before now, you know? Our wedge game is improving every, uh, every time we play the game. So Scottsdale, Arizona, let's put some close with the wedges here. We only got to get one within five foot. And then we got to get uh, the rest within 10 foot, I think, which is pretty easy. Land all five. Yeah, I mean, I should be doing that with the spinner here. I think I should manage to get all all, uh, all five within 10 foot, not a mine three. Great shot. Yeah, that's the, uh, the first one completed. That's within five foot. A little bit of height on this bad boy. Stop up. I just need to hit all of them on the green now. Oh, that's in. Wow. Oh, I hit the pitch. I didn't even hit the spinner that time. I was wondering why that didn't stop up. I was like, I didn't switch to the, the spinner, stupidly. But I have now. That should be good enough to put this real nice and close. Jesus, that wasn't great, was it? A little bit of overswing, a little bit of fast. Way long. Okay, well, all, all three are on the green. We just need one more within 10 foot, and that's, uh, that's all Gucci and the Hoochie then. Got this challenge done. Under swingy. It should be within 10 foot, I hope. Oh, 10 foot 3 inches. This last one needs to be within 10 foot. Holy shit, okay. Well, this is, makes it a little bit nervy now. No fucking way. Okay, thank god. I thought that was gonna be slow. It was fast as well, so that actually helped us out. All right, that should be all three stars there. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right, glide for, what is this? Hitting from distance should result in the ball being close enough to one putt. Okay. Hit one shot to within five foot, hit three shots to within 10 foot, and land all five shots on the green. So from 100 yards, I think we can manage that. Yeah, let's try it. All right, let's try to get this on our first try, like we did with that one. Okay. So 102 should be absolutely sublime here with two foot up. It's, this should be the, just the perfect club. That's an absolutely glorious view, by the way. Tremendous view. Okay, I need to put a low ball flat on this bad boy because that is going to spin like a motherfucker. Or maybe even go a club extra. I think I'll try first and just put a low ball flat on this bad boy. We don't want it to spin that much, that's for sure. I feel like if I don't underswing this or slow it, it should be perfect, though. Yeah, what a shot. Oh, beauty. Absolute beauty. That's a foot away. That's a bloody foot away. Beautiful golf shot, man. Why do I always wear this this um, outfit while I'm doing the challenges and stuff, by the way? My round four outfit, isn't it? Underswingy, but it should be pretty good still. I'm banking on that being within 10 foot. Nearly in the hole. Great shot. Great shot. All right. A little bit of a low ball flight on this bad boy again. Hit three shots within 10 foot. This is going to be that one. That's not within 10 foot, is it? A little bit of right on me. Shit. Need the last one to be within 10 foot. Now it was 14. Ooh, this is making it, it's making it a little tense here. All right. You know where it is. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. Beauty. Absolutely glorious stuff, mate. That should be all three stars on our first go once again. King from a distance. Here we go. Hit one shot within 10 foot from 220 yards. Land all five shots on the green and land two shots on the green. Okay, this is going to be more difficult because I do struggle with, with stopping these longer shots with my current character. I feel like when you have someone like Dustin Johnson who launches high up into the air and he can, uh, it's much easier to do that and he has much longer distance so he's only hitting like a six iron for those distances. I have to hit like a, nearly a hybrid or something like that from 220. Um, it depends on how, how much green there is to work with and stuff like that. Really dependent on this. And five iron. 
four iron. No, five iron's definitely the club. I might even have to put a bit of height on this. Try and get it to stop a little bit. Let's let's just try the five iron first. We need two shots on the green, five shots on the green, and then what was the other one? Two within a or one within ten foot. Okay, that's just a little left on me, unfortunately. Kick. Oh. Well, there goes that idea. But it was the right distance, I think. Like, if it had landed on the green, I would have liked to see where that went. Let's restart and, uh, and go with that again. I do think that that was the right decision. Maybe I just need to aim a little further left, because... I don't know why that went so far left. Am I... Is the ball above my feet? Maybe it was just because of the fast and overswing, but... I don't think the ball is, like, above my... F it is. Oh, it is. The ball is above my feet a little bit. So we want to be aiming a small bit left of this bad boy. Or right at this bad boy, rather. Just kind of draw it back in there. Nope. That wasn't the one. It's on the green, but that was not the one. It was a little too much distance, too, but that was overswinging, so it's hard to tell. I'm gonna aim a little bit uh, right of it. Not anything crazy. Why is that going so far right? Now I'm fucking confused, dude. Now I'm confused. Now I'm goddamn confused, okay? Alright, I'm gonna give this one more go, and then we're gonna jump into the tournament, because I don't want to spend all day here. We're definitely not getting this one um, without some considerable practice here. Not great. Need to get lucky with the, with the bounce. It's gonna be 12 again or something like that, man. Oh my god, that's frustrating. Oh! <laughs> nine foot nine inches! No way! That's awesome, dude. That's absolutely awesome. Now we just need to go middle of the green. Play middle of the green and just... And just take our... Yep, that's fine. That's gonna be uh, it's gonna be on the green still. Just about. <laughs> Alright, 50 foot. Now we just need to hit the green with the last ball here. And we good. We good. Please. Imagine I missed the green here. I would be upset. Nah, that's right in the middle. Let's go, boys. Come on. Three stars on the last one on our last go there. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nine foot, nine inches on that one, boy. Let's go, son. 15 out of 15 on that one. Let's go and get our rewards for that. We should have a reward pack now, I'd assume. All right, there we go. We got two unopened rewards from the ping challenges. Let's see what the first one is. Give me some ping gear, buddy. 15,000 experience. Oh, is that a ping fairway wood? That's good, because that was the only thing we didn't buy was a fairway wood. <laughs> That's awesome. Instead of the three wood, we'll have the... Uh... Well, actually, I didn't buy a hybrid either, did I? Did I? No, I don't think I did buy a hybrid. So give me a hybrid in the second pack. That's what that's what I'm asking for now. Come on. Give me a little hybrid here in the second pack. Huh? How about it? 250 reward points. XP. Okay. I'll take it, you know. We got three uh three XP points now as well, so let's spend them before we jump into uh into Tory Pines. Driving accuracy, I'll leave that. I I don't find that I'm too bad off the tee anyway. Um, let's see about recovery here. What what do I get for these here? We get the silver spinner. I want the silver spinner. High flop and silver spinner. Long flop, Texas wedge. I mean, yeah, I'm, there's a lot of good shit there. <laughs> there's a lot of good shit from, from just unlocking this one skill here. Unlock the silver runner too. Why not? Yeah, short game's important, man. Super important. Let's jump into our career. Let's jump into the Farmers Insurance Open. Let's see who we're playing with in round one. We're playing with Sung J M. And we're looking good too while doing it. We're up to a 77 overall. Um, with that outfit, that outfit's clean, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, that outfit's clean. All right, Sungjae, let's do it. Let's have some fun with it. Come on, baby, Torrey Pine South Course. Let's get it. All right, Harris English leads the way at four under par. I imagine the scoring won't nearly be as low as it was at PGA West. That's my prediction anyway, because Torrey Pines is no joke. We're teeing off first, we lead the way. Sungjae M will, uh, will follow us out there. Including our leader. So let's get out to the action as we pick things up on the team. Bang. At the par four That'll pick. work. A little bit leany. Here He's leaning to the left a little bit. That's fine. Farmers Insurance Open and our featured golfer here coming up. Perfect start. Showing out at the American Express last week. Yeah, it wasn't bad, eh? Made first paycheck as a professional. Play for another big first. <clears throat> and this field too is stacked. So a good chance to weigh your abilities up once again with the world's best. Sung J M, I think, must have hit less than driver there. He's way back. No He's way game. behind the us there. One shot 59 Come on, the Sungjae, what are you up to? Tour. Went on to win four big tournaments on the PGA Tour. Uh, Noda, you remember what it's like That's a great to looking shot, though. Sung J.M. Oh, my God. What a golf shot from Sung J.M. from 200 yards out. Beautiful. Look at our new irons, by the way. They look slick. They look really slick, man. That's I'm just going to use it. No, it was slow, though. Might get away with that because I was thinking it might be too much club. Nah, it's short now though. 
All right, it's not bad. 18 foot for birdie on the uh, first the hole. Safely on the Tried to finesse the it a little jumps. too much there. Ended up ended up slowing it. In the third Definitely a not a birdie. Impossible to make a birdie here. This, a Look at the, the right. super stroke grip on our putter now. Heel, so we... I don't really see it because the way we grip our putter, but. Yeah, I overdid it a little bit. Overhit it through the break. There, uh, I think I might have had it if I had the right pace target. on that one. I tried but just three foot past the other side of it. Let's see if Sung JM can start with the birdie. 50% on the make percentage. It's for birdie. Five holes to start. Sung JM. Oh, doesn't That's give it enough juice. Sung J is I mean, pissed. It's just, now it's He's put a marker on it, though. Yeah, that's good putt. It I is am so lucky I made that. Foot. Oh, mm -hmm. my Stay at level I am so lucky I made that, boys. Really, really lucky. All right. Can he complain about it now? Young GM with a little tap in. Our par start for the two of us. Four under leads the way. Like I said, I do think that this is going to be a lot lower or a lot higher scoring than, than PGA West. I think we'll probably see it maybe a 10 under win. Something like that. Nothing crazy anyway, I would imagine. But we'll see. This course is tough. Overall, what are the things that a young golfer like this needs to keep in mind this week? Tell me. You have to remind yourself it's just a plain, hard, straight up golf course. Yeah. And plus, it's going to play every inch of its length because of the marine layer that often comes in so you have that very dense air we're obviously at sea okay. level and plus the poana greens you're going to miss the odd short putt um you can't let that get to you you look around the leader i won't you don't see the same 60 nothings that we saw the week before okay good to know i think we can go for this in two this yeah good to know about the um, right side about this course being tough I mean, I already knew that. Yeah, nothing. This game, this there. course is in good 2K balance. as well, and it's it's Far brutal. It's definitely a brutal course, and in hole. real life as well, it's the same way. Sung Jam laying up here as he blasted an iron towards the green there. Well, he was going for it for sure, but he's just missed it right. Can we go for this? I think we can go for this in two, right? I think I I think I can run a four iron on here with a little little bit of a low ball flight here. It's gonna be risky because there is an upslope in front of that. I might hit the upslope, but I'm hoping that I kind of still. Cracks on a little bit. I've done the same thing as Sung Jay. Damn it, I pushed it out there a little bit. I'm joining him. Not quite as far in there, so I'm going to be in the rough instead of the bunker. That actually might make the shot a little bit more difficult, if anything. And I might have to go for a high flop here. I might have to try that. Our first time using it. Let's see, because the high flop would get this to stop down immediately, and that's what we want. Out of the rough. Decent lie here. Okay. Yeah, that's what we needed. Beautiful shot. Absolutely glorious. First high flop is beautiful. Let's see if Sung JM can put it as close as that. Softly onto the green. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. Sung Jay, I think, hit the blast instead of the pick. Not ideal, Sung Jay. Not ideal. Oh, All right. Let's see if we can make a putt for a birdie. Now note at this get to two birdie. under, actually. And this we have a tap in to get to, to one under. To right. Not much pace in it at all. Sung JM. Mm, just no. played a little couldn't see break there and couldn't see the end the left. very well tap in birdie for ourselves par for sung jay and we'll okay, move on to the well next hole both there. one under it's par so we're playing the front the rest of the front nine i think we're playing uh three four five. Oh, we have four holes left oh does that include this one though yeah i'm assuming so we're playing seven eight nine after this Nice Quick putt, Sung Jay. Nice putt indeed. Very tough par four upcoming. Let's see if we can, can uh, follow up the birdie with a with a good par here, or even a, another birdie. The, this driver looks massive compared to that golf ball, doesn't it? There you go. Beautifully done. Could be just perfect. Yes, sir. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Scoreboard goes away. Sung JM powers one out there. Yeah, I like how more how much more simplistic it looks when the AI is hitting compared to me. Like, just uh, what you want at this point in like the round. There's not as much stuff on screen, you know. There's so much stuff on screen when I'm hitting, hit I feel like. Of the club Sung JM seems to be like just selection. He's hitting so little important. baby drivers Second out there. He's not even hitting like full percent power points. or anything. Sung JM has hit a decent one there, definitely. Not bad at all. He's leaving himself 200 yards coming in, though, so. He's never going to be putting it that close. Do I go low ball? I think I'm going to go low ball flight 9 iron here. See if this works. Big divot. I went out to the right, though. Wow. Okay. 
Not going to be easy. Same as Sungjae, pretty much. He's going to be putting first, but we both have about like 28 closer, foot, 29 still, foot, something like that. Feet, just Not to ideal. Tough putt here, I imagine. Putting. Tough putt indeed. Oh, Sungjae. Oh, Sungjae! Oh, what a putt. A Let's try and follow him. No. Oh. Gonna be low. Damn it. Just on the low side. That'll drift a couple Good effort, though. Good effort, indeed. I'll take that. He's ahead of us now as, as our playing partner. He's going to be teeing off and leading the way here. Nice par three. I think I might have got a hole in one on this hole. Or I hit the pin on this hole. I think I got robbed of a hole in one on this hole. I was a little short, Sungjae. I'm going to play a little bit of a high fade here. I think this could be the right decision because I don't want to... I don't want to give up too much of this because I feel like it's uphill. I don't want to be short like Sung Jae. But I might be this long. Looks right on point. Oh, it's a gorgeous shot. The high fade makes it stop quickly. It's a you beautiful know, golf shot. The shot. That was tremendous. Shot, shot of the really day so far, no right doubt. Massive shot. That should with the putter because this one help us tie up hill, with Sung Jae Im, who's in third back. place as it stands right now. I'm telling you guys, the scoring here is not going to be as brutal as um, DJ West, as we know. Of course, a lot tougher. So I think, yeah, maybe like if we could somehow get to like 9, 10 under, we could be in the shot of winning this thing. No, I've missed it, though. I overread it. I gave away. Nah. Gave up the hole too much there, man. Silly. Silly. Five feet left. Right, let's not get crazy with it now, but I do need to play it outside the hole, I feel like. Now, we've seen folks hang that putt I out pushed it. Look right. at my swing plan. Pushed it out there. As much as you think, and that, goes on by. that is just horrendous, guys. Three putt from six foot. A three putt from six foot, and that's what he was talking about earlier with Tory Pines. You can do that. Okay, that in but it, like, it did show quite eight. significant lines and breaking there now. And you know... Oh, that's frustrating. I guess when you push it, it doesn't matter though. You're gonna push it through the uh, push it through the green. All right, 600 yard par five. We can just forget about going for it. We'll, we'll lay up. I think Sung Jim will be doing the same, especially the way he's driving it today. He's not he's not powering him out there. He's still gonna have a decent distance left there, I'd imagine. Yep, 297 left. So, yeah, neither of us are gonna be able to go for this. So we'll just uh, let's play a little bit of a draw against that against that slope and. A little slow, a little under swing you, that's gonna be just fine. Oh, I overdrew it though. Hit. Oh, we got away with it. All right, doesn't matter anyway, it's a layup, so we'll just lay one up there. We don't need the power approach, I'll just hit a little, hit a little hybrid down there. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go, son. Let's go. Thank ya. All right, we've left ourselves about 83 yards there. Should be a pitch or so from there. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's go, baby. 37 yards left for you. I respect that little chip. All right, what do I do? Do I finesse this? Do I pitch this? Do I hit a little runner? Pitch. Right there. So let's finesse this bad boy. Let's finesse the 60 degree wedge. This should be perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit of a low ball fight on this because I don't want to overspin this from the uh, the fairway here. Oh, don't! I should have put a little bit more on it. Not bad, but a little bit unfortunate to spin it off the front of the green. Okay, let's see what Sungjae has got up his sleeve, eh? Sungjae, him? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Sungjae. A little bit, a little better than mine. It's not great. Texas Wedge is the play for sure. So it breaks a little bit to the right at the start, and then it doesn't really break back enough to the left to affect it at all, I would say. So I am going to just play this. Actually, I actually don't think it even breaks that much. I'm just going to go with this. I'm not even going to give up too much of the cup here. Come on! Yeah, what a birdie! Bounce back birdie after the terrible three putt on the last. We've hold one from off the green here, and that's the game of golf. Three putt from six foot on the green, and hold out with the putter from off the green. That's how it's done, you know? 
Sung Jim, is he going to match us with the birdie here? He is. Well done, Sung Jay. He gets the two under par. And that's going to be the end of our day here. We'll simulate the rest of our round, but a good finish to the round there. Very important to finish with the birdie there, like we did. Is four under going to be the leading score at the end of the day? There's so many people at four under. I think someone got the five under. Scott Stallings shoots a five under here at Torrey Pines South, and he leads alone at the top of the leaderboard. We finished one under par. We got another birdie, but a double bogey on 12. Halted our progress a little bit, but a bounce back birdie. Let us finish one under par. Our playing partner, Sung JM, finishes two under par, and we'll move on to round two in a pretty decent position for ourselves. We'll take that. All right, boys, uh, let's jump into round two. What is this career master again? How do I how do I complete some of these uh, view quests? Oh, yeah. OK, I think it's just like you got to do certain things within here. So we've already completed one, which has become ranked in the top 200. No, we became ranked in top 250. We need to become in the top 200 next, then top 150, then top 100, top 75, top 50, top 30, top five, and top one. Foreman finishes, finish in the top 50. Did we not finish in the top 25? I feel like we finished in the top 25 in that last event. I thought we came top 20. Maybe we were just outside. Or maybe you have to do them in order. That would make sense, actually. All right, a lot of different uh, challenges, actually. The career mode's, like, way more in-depth than I actually expected it to be. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be in-depth, but it's a lot more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. And uh, it does a great job of that. Like, definitely EA Sports PGA Tour is so far the strongest point, I feel like, is its career mode. So let's jump into round two with our master's outfit here and uh, see if we can... Oh, we're playing alongside. This is the third time we've played with Scotty Scheffler, actually. Last time we played with him, it bugged out a little bit. And I think the reason for that was because he hit it in the water. I EA think that that Sports triggered something, a little bug PGA or something like that. And I think that EA is working on it already. So that was the reason that the AI didn't work that, that round there. Um, so it's being tracked, I think. So yeah, we'll see. Five under leads the way right now. We're one under and we'll be looking to, uh, to improve here. This part of the course is stunning, actually. I like this hole. As we check out the Friday leaderboard, Scott Stallings is on top. He's currently at Fine, five under. Just about. We head out okay, to it's the gonna be okay. As we pick up the it's going to be all right. Two. Calm down, everybody. Well Scotty Scheffler, three under. Starts of their young career. Boom. Nice finish as we saw at PGA West. And now, good start to this week as well. A oh, great start, Rich. I think if you look at golf over the last decade, you know, remember Jordan Spieth, what a splash he made. Scotty, 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 Scotty. Guys like Sun J M, you know, who was like always just one step. Scotty Scheffler in the mix at the Masters. I think he shot a four under round, and he's in the mix here at Torrey Pines as well. He's just put one to a foot, and Scotty Scheffler is playing like Scotty Scheffler does. Insane shot there. Play a little bit of a high fade here. I know this is going to go left because of the, uh... Oh, it's bad. I get away with it. Actually, really good. Oh, we got away with it indeed, because I hit it fast. I think it's a good thing I did. I think I would have been short otherwise. You know it's going to be It's a good thing I hit it fast, and that is close now. The birdie on the first, baby. Come on. Yeah, that's pa, a pa, 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 pa. It's a Back to back birdies. Get to two under par. And he moves it to Let's two go. Under par. All right, Scotty Scheffler in 29th place at three under now. So a lot of people at four under, five under. And maybe people will start to uh, to pull away here at the top of the leaderboard. Scotty Scheffler taps that in for his birdie. And a big fist pump there. Oh, no. It's... Why is Scotty Scheffler scoring glitched always? It's only Scotty. I swear, no other AI I've had problems with. Every AI I've played with, it, like, their scorecard is perfect. But I don't understand why Scotty's having all these problems, man. Here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. money. Oh, yeah. Man, oh nice yeah swing, and the result is gonna be a t that's a bomb that right there just bomb. 330 yard bomb left myself a wedge in let's start back-to-back -back birdies let's start three birdies in a row because we had a birdie on that last hole too so yeah it gave it gave scotty shelfler a par there i truly don't understand this game right now i really don't like is it really still bugged from his last round i played with him like it carried over to the next tournament because that's that's really bad if so really bad scotty shelfler misses the fairway puts it into a bunker son Boom. Scotty Scheffler. Big boy. Oh. What a shot. What a shot from the bunker, and Scotty Scheffler will have that for a par, won't he? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna hit this. But close. Simple as that. Those wedges are glorious, by the way. They look so sexy. That's so good. That is so, so good. Oh my god, dude. What's my issue? What's my problem? Tap I mean, in birdie. We're in contention here at Farmers Insurance Tremendous. Open, man. We're in contention. 
playing like this, I'm definitely in contention. Come on. Are you kidding me? God, he's been like robbed. In... God, he's been robbed. Not that it'll kick his scorecard in right anyway, but uh, Tel Aviv will tap in for the birdie. Yeah, that's a little one-inch tap a in for a birdie three in a row, by the way, with a par five to come. Man. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Bang! What a punt. That one finished two and maybe make it a three. Bang! Money. This starting up the right side. Oh, it's not money. It's a missed fairway on the par five, and that's be not going to be reachable from there, son. Like it. The Sky boy! Beach, that swing is quick. Yeah, it started all it's those slid. years away with all the Hollywood stars. The and great it's Bing another missed fairway for Scotty Scheffler. Look what it's turned into now. But now golf is the star. Still might go for it from there, honestly. 262. No all right, look at my lie. Holy shit. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, guys. Lies depend on courses. We have a shocker here. Now, it does get better the, the further you come back at club, which makes sense, of course. But still, even with the five iron, it's 64%. So I'm just going to try and run it down the fairway there and, and just get it into a, into a decent position. But yeah. Missing the fairway on certain courses can be very punishing. And it does base on the course. Like, when you play St. Andrews, like I saw a lot of people saying, the rough at St. Andrews is, you're getting 99%. But the rough at St. Andrews has never really been punishing. Like, um, ever since I've been watching St. Andrews anyway, like, the rough there is never that punishing. And it, it does change the way that the ball comes out, obviously, right? It doesn't, um, it doesn't just mean that there's no effect on the ball. Oh, Scotty Scheffler went for it with DOD, but just missed it into the into the bunker there unfortunately oh, shot oh perfect i just need a low ball flight so as to not to uh so as to not spin this too much okay not our best wedge shot but it's okay 22 foot uh, 22 a foot a away for a birdie scotty scheffler will probably play a blast here because a lot of green to work today. with let's see Oh, he does, but it's just way too far. That's an embarrassing bunker shot from Scotty Scheffler. Horrible. Oh. It's our penultimate hole today as well, so Scotty Scheffler will need to get up and down for a par. Not great either. Scotty Scheffler is struggling here. He made a couple big mistakes there. Like but he has a 9-foot, nine 9-inch nine putt for, a, uh, for a par. We have this for a birdie. Let's make it. I'm turning. Ah, eh, it's weak. It's weak. I didn't even put that much. 0.3% underswing. Like, I can't believe it still came up that short. I'm not sure I like this Masters outfit. To be honest, we might have to change that one. But, whatever. Scotty Scheffler for par. Oh! Slides by the edge, man. Gonna, gonna be a par for us. Disappointing considering we were coming in. What the fuck did I do? Oh my god, I pushed the shit out of it. What did I just do? I can't believe I pushed it that hard. Okay, it's a bogey. I think I was not. I honestly was not focusing on that one. I can't believe I did that. Scotty Scheffler for bogey. Will it actually give him a bogey? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? All right. Okay, that's a that's disappointment. Be that really is. His bogey. Five under's the lead too, man. Like, it, I mean, I think it'll be more than that at the end of the day. No doubt, it'll probably be closer to ten. But still, as it stands right now, we should be in the mix. It's a tough hole to finish too. All right. And a deep Let's try and bounce right back with a birdie on this one. Not ideal. Kick, kick. And difficult to ah. hit God, compounding errors here, guys. Compounding errors. I assume we're safe from the cut. I, I assume it'll be over par, the cut line. Quite a bit over par, too, but who knows? We need to see Scotty Scheffler's footwork in the game next, where he bloody... Uh, Nearly falls over while he's taking his golf swing. No here. That is I mean, if I had a golf away. swing like that, I would have probably snapped my knee a long time ago, you know? <laughs> oh, God, Scotty. Still drives it past us, even though he took 10% off his drive. We and should be able to get this still up there. Result from here put it hopefully close. I think I'm going to hit this, because wind is with us. It's downhill. We're going to hit this and hopefully it'll run on a little bit. That's not good. Not great. Bad. Bad miss. Gonna be a tough up and down from there, but if we can get it up and down, finish with a par yeah. here, yeah, uh, I'll yeah, take that I finish going into Just going into the weekend, uh, under par round, you know. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. Iona. We've got one, three, two left to the flag today, and the pin on the front portion. Nice shot. Nice shot from Scotty S. Nine foot three inches. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna spinner this. I'm gonna spinner this bad boy. A little bit of height on it. 
Wait, I didn't get my silver spinner. I swear I was getting my... No, was it silver pick I got, I think? Might have been silver pick. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Good shot. A little bit of a tester left there. It's going to be about a six-footer. Six foot ten inches left for the uh, for the par, but good shot regardless. Not a long putt. Scotty Scheffler. Side hiller for birdie. We'll have a putt for birdie on the last here, but yeah, Scotty Scheffler's uh, scoring is just bugged again. It's a shame, man. It's a shame. Oh my oh, God, Scotty Scheffler's getting robbed on some of these putts, man. He really is. Get this straight at it, baby. Yes, sir. Good putt. Yep, well good, uh, good par there. Good up and down. And hopefully it sims us and stays and stays around two under. I would like maybe even get us to three under. That would be great. Scotty Scheffler. Gonna have a tap in par here. I'd tap that in with my ass cheeks, to be honest, Scotty. So. No All right. Five, in for five under par. Well, Scotty uh, is, is he gonna be in contention with that? What is the scoring gonna be like? Eight under, I think, leads the way. Xander Shoffley, nine under. Ooh, Xander with a four under, five under round. We're three under, though. We're just outside the top ten as it stands right now. So, solid enough stuff. That par five definitely cost us, especially that miss on the par five. Three under would have had us inside the top ten. So, a little bit disappointing in that regard. But overall, a positive positive experience. Can't complain too much about that. Um, we're at T16 in the FedEx Cup rank ranking. So, uh, yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, we'll be back for rounds three and four of the Farmers Insurance Open at uh, Torrey Pine South Course in the next video. Make sure to drop a like if you're enjoying these videos, and I will make sure to get back to you guys. Uh, I'm going to report that Scotty Scheffler is kind of uh, still bugged. It's a little weird, honestly, because um, I thought it would fix itself after one round, but doesn't seem to be the case. Scheffler is second in the uh, official World Golf rankings there, was it? Yeah. Shoffley first, Scheffler second. I don't think they have any of the live guys in the career mode, which makes sense, I guess. They don't have any of the live guys inside the uh, inside the career mode. I, I went through the FedEx Cup rankings, world rankings stuff, couldn't find Dustin Johnson, couldn't find Brooks Koepka, couldn't find Bryson, any of them. Uh, so I guess that makes sense, seeing as we're playing the, the actual PGA Tour career mode now, but having them in the game at all is really cool. So thanks for watching. See you next time. It's been a pleasure to serve you all. Peace out. Break.